guys, just me Roms here. Today I'll be showing you how to install OpenELEC on the AmLogic devices, which includes the MQX, M8, M8S, M8S Plus. I've included uh, each individual ROM below in the description bar, so download the correct one. Um, I've just been getting a lot of emails, how do I get OpenELEC onto my box? What do I need to do? Um, it's very simple guys, it's a small image, your box runs a lot quicker, more efficient, the downside, you've got no Android um, on it, so you can't run your Facebook, you can't run your Twitter, um, or anything Android. I'll be showing you two ways today, one through the Android UI, and a second way is through the toothpick method. So let's get started and see what we need. Okay, basically you'll need uh, the box that you're flashing. I'm using the M8 today. You can, you, you might be using the MXQ. You might be using the M8S. I don't know. Um, but like I said, they all work the same way. As long as you download the right firmware for it, you'll be right. Um, you'll need a toothpick, as you can see over here. You'll need a, an, an, an SD card. Um, two gigs minimum I mean look I'm using an 8 that's all I had on hand um, it doesn't mean you got to use an 8 gigabyte one uh, as long as it's one gigabyte you'll be fine you need the standard remote okay um, and you need a USB mouse just in case your recovery does not recognize the remote right after you've downloaded uh, the correct firmware for your box you end up with a, a zip file roughly around 114 uh, megs. Uh, what we need to do then is copy that zip file straight onto the root directory of your SD card. So for me it's uh, E, copy, paste, control C, control V, up to you, whichever way you want to do it. Once that uh, transfer completes, we pull it out of the PC card reader and uh, we place it in the, the M8 box or whatever box you're using um, to flash. So let's do that. Okay guys, um, once we put the SD card into the M8 box, which is you know the box I'm using at the moment, you could be using an MXQ, you could be using uh, M8S, M8S Plus, I don't know, but it's all the same principle. We'll let the box boot up. Yeah, we'll just uh, go into the browser. We go into the apps. And then we scroll down to update and backup. Your symbol might look a little bit different to mine, but it should be worded the same, update and backup. Select that. Okay, next we need to press wipe data wipe media and then select okay right up top here we can see our M logic uh, open a lick image so we just click on that and press update now we press update again and this should bring up a little green man with a status bar Okay, as you can see, it's installing system updates. Just be patient, it'll take roughly about two to four minutes. Once it's completed, the box will cycle off and cycle back on, and hopefully, open elect should be installed if everything goes well. Okay, this method is updating via the Android UI. You can also do it through the toothpick method. Okay, as you can see, it's still installing. We're almost there. Ok, 
It's just erasing uh, the old data. Okay, that's going to cycle off. It's going to cycle back on. You've got the M8 logo there. There we go. We've got to open the leg. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. That's through the Android UI. Back up and restore. Okay, we'll just greet you through uh, a few setups. That's your host name. You can change it if you like. You can um, select you know, your Wi-Fi signal. Next, SSH, you can enable, disable, Samba, enable, disable. Next, next, thank you. Um, basically, it operates the same way as Cody, but this time around, it just pushed straight into Open Uh to change from Wi-Fi to Ethernet, you just go to open the link, go to network, connections, you got your Bluetooth about, system, blah blah blah. Click on that, update from SD, and then we just select open the to zip. You know, basically that's, what's that going to do? It's going to go run through the setup again. Once it's finished, it's going to recycle. It's going to switch off, it's going to switch back on, and open the lock will be installed again. This is called the toothpick method. You can use it while you've got Android, you can use it while you've got open the lock. With open the lock, you've got no choice. You've got to do the toothpick method. Sorry guys, I'm doing this on uh, my phone because my capture card won't, uh, won't get into recovery mode, it loses signal. Okay, as you can see it says uh, open and let source successfully, reboot system now, and you should have open and let installed. It's not that hard, um, just take your time and um, you know you you'll be rewarded if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys next time